<coughs> Welcome to AWS with Adik. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Jenkins in AWS. So let's get started. I am into my uh, EC2 console. So I'm going to go to EC2 and launch one. So I'm going to launch a new instance. Okay. I can give it a name. So Jenkins. Then uh, Amazon Linux two. That's okay. Data micro. That should be fine. Prepare. Let me choose a prepare menu. Okay. So uh, I'm going to choose S three. And. Uh, This store sounds good. Pass now. Okay. So the instances and um, in the security group, uh, I need to open a new port that is eight zero eight zero because Jenkins has on eight zero eight zero. So I need to open the port. So we just go here. Add a rule, custom discipline. It's zero, it's zero. Go to anywhere. Let us launch your things. Okay, save rules. Go to instances. Probably it should be ready by the time now. Okay, now let's talk from it. Still not ready yet. So while it's been ready, I'm going to go into the details. So uh, Jenkins has an official instruction where how you can install all those things here. It's briefly given. So you can just copy paste the comments from this blog. Basically, we have actually done that part. So. This is the part that I'm going to show you. The other parts like connecting to the instance, we're going to do that via the session manager. So I'm not probably follow their instructions. I'm just going to follow their commands here. Okay, it's ready now. So let's see. Then what I have to do is YAM update first. So let's do the YAM update. Then I'm going to uh, add the Jenkins repo. So paste it here. Then I'm going to add this uh, key file. Then uh, just come up great. Sounds good. So now we are looking to install Java. It has not installed previously. So where there was a little bit of stress. It installs all those things here. There, I'm going to uh, install Jenkins. This, this is a simple command. It's downloading Jenkins. 91 megabytes in size. It's done. So, Level Jenkins. This will uh let me clear my screen because it's button. Okay. 
The next comment is uh, system CTL enable Jenkins. That will enable Jenkins to start as a when we reboot the system. So it will be by default started automatically. We don't need to manually start it at all. Then sudo system CTL start Jenkins. So this is the command that we are going to run it for once. And we don't need to run it never ever again. Because if we stop our server and start it again, as we have enabled it, it will auto start. The command and then uh, status Jenkins. So let's say what's the status here. Okay, the status start command is still being executing. Maybe it should take some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is taking some time. So, um, because it's a T2 micro, so maybe that's why it is taking time. Okay, that's done. Now let's check the status. It status is running. So active running. Okay. Now let's copy the IP address and go to port 8080. So that okay. This is our Jenkins right? Now what we have to do is uh, kind of uh, this command. So should I run this? This is the admin's password. Copy. Install suggested plugins. Select plugins to install. I'm just going to install some suggested plugins. So these are all my suggested. So let's see. This is taking some time because I have been instructed to install a lot of things. Folder, possible markup, parameter, daily timeout, heat, gradle, so credentials, binding, all those things. I need to pause the video for a few minutes and then I'll come back when it's ready. Okay, the required plugins or the suggested plugins has been installed. And it automatically sent me to this URL. What is this? Is that I'm going to give it a name. So let's say demo user. Password is something like I can suggest, right? Okay, that's okay. And then email address I XYZ. Jenkins URL, that sounds good. Second finish. It's ready. Awesome. So uh, this is it, right? We have Jenkins set up on our EC2 instance. Now we can run our build pipelines, all those things here. I'm going to create another video which will show an example to do the Bitcoin plans, all those things. At this moment, I'm going to just show, have shown to you how you can install Jenkins on your EC2 instance and run it properly. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. That will help me to create more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.